Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss about decorators. Those are available in Lightning Web Component. So we have three decorators that we can use in JavaScript file of LWC. So decorators are often used in JavaScript to modify the behavior of a property or function. So we have three decorators named as at the rate API, at the rate track, and at the rate wire. So let's understand use of individual decorator with the help of examples. So first I'm going to discuss at the rate API. So if you declare any property in JavaScript and you want to make that property public because by default, whatever property you declare, property means variables. So whatever property you declare in JavaScript, so those are local. Local means those properties can be used in the HTML file of the same component where JavaScript file is available. Now, if you are placing your Lightning Web component on a page, let's say, for example, you are placing your Lightning Web component on the account record page. Now, if you want to get the account record ID automatically in the Lightning Web component, so what you will do, you will use at the rate API with the property name so that that property can fetch data from outside Lightning Web component, right? So if you want to make a field or property public, so uh, you need to use at the rate API decorator. Then HTML markup can access the components public properties. So if you make any property public with the help of at the rate API, so those properties you can still uh, use in HTML markup. Then all properties, all public properties are reactive. So reactive means the framework observe the property for change. When property changes value, then the framework reacts and renders the component. So it means if you change the value of that property, so that changed value will be rendered on the UI. And field and property are interchangeable terms. So sometimes uh, we say like property uh, equivalence to fields or variable. So these are interchangeable terms. So uh, don't get confused uh, with these words. So this is the example. So if you declare a property, for example, here we have declared a property as message. So message is annotated with at the rate API. So this will become a public property. So now message can fetch the value from outside Lightning Web Component. And this value is a private property. So uh, this property we can use inside this Lightning Web Component only. It cannot interact outside Lightning Web Component. So generally, if you want to fetch ID of particular record, so we create record ID property as uh, public using at the rate API. So that is uh, mostly uh, usable for like uh, for that purpose. Generally, we prefer at the rate API so that record ID property can become public and we can fetch the ID of particular record outside of LWC. Then next is at the rate track. So it observe changes to the properties of an object or, or to the element of an array. So framework renders the component when changes occurs. Third is at the rate wire and uh, it is also uh, used frequently. So generally, whenever you want to interact with your data that is available in your Salesforce org, so at the rate wire provides a way to get and bind data from a Salesforce org. So the wire service provisions an immutable stream of data to the component. Each value in the stream is a newer version of the value that precedes it. So objects passed to a component are read only. To mutate the data, a component should make a shallow copy of the objects if uh, it wants to mutate, right? So now, we need to understand the syntax of a wire so that you understand like how we can use at the rate wire decorator. So if you want to use this at the rate wire decorator, so there are two ways. Like one is to use wire service for predefined modules 
And second is to use this uh, decorator for Apex class methods. So the syntax here imports adapter module, which are predefined. And from that adapter module, we will be importing adapter ID. And uh, with the help of add wire, we need to pass adapter ID and adapter config. So adapter ID is basically the identifier of the wire adapter. Then adapter module, this is uh, the identifier of the module that contains the wire adapter function in the format namespace slash module name, right? So you need to follow this format. Then adapter config uh, is a object. So a configuration object specific to the wire adapter. Configuration object property values can be either string or reference to objects and fields imported from at the rate Salesforce slash schema. So when I will be discussing an example, then you will be able to understand this. So next we have property or function. So basically a private property or function that receives the stream of data from the wire service. So you can use either property or you can use function. So if you use a property that is decorated with at the rate wire, so the results are returned to the properties, data property or error property. So these two will be automatically available with that property. And if a function is decorated with at the rate wire, the results are returned in an object with a data property and an error property, right? So uh, this we will discuss in detail while uh, I will be implementing these uh, with the help of some code. So right now, if, if I summarize, so adapter ID is basically an identifier, then adapter module uh, will be containing certain functions that you can import. And uh, adapter configuration uh, will be an object and uh, you, you can reference certain objects and fields. Uh, that you can import and uh, property or function will be storing the returned result in form of data and error, right? Now, this is the example one. So here, so I will be explaining two example. In first example, you will see like I am going to import the predefined adapter module. So here I am importing UI record API, right? And prior to that, uh, you can you you can see like I am importing LWC module, and if you are using API and wire decorator, so you need to import them as well along with Lightning element functionality, right? If you use at the rate track decorator, so you need to import that as well. So here in this code, I am using at the rate API, so that that's why I imported API functionality. And I'm using at the rate wire decorator as well. So I imported that from LWC module. Then in second line, I imported get record. So this is adapter ID, right? And from lightning slash UI record API. So this UI record API is a module. So we are importing it. And this get record, we will be using to get the record uh, from Salesforce org. And uh, here, in third line, I'm importing account.name. So this is imported with the help of at the rate Salesforce slash schema slash account.name. So account name will be imported and it will be identified with this identifier ID that is account underscore name underscore field. Then uh, we have this class record and this is extending lightning element. Then here I have created here I have created one uh, property named as record ID, which is annotated as at the rate API. So this, this will become a public property. Then this at the rate wire decorator is used. Here uh, we are passing get record. So you can see get record will be considered as adapter ID that we are passing inside at the rate wire, right? So get record comma. So which record we need to get? So we need to pass record ID with this syntax and then we need to pass the field. So this records, these fields we need to fetch and those returned results will be available in this record. So this record is basically a property because it is not having any curly braces or any other code. So this will be a property. If you use any curly braces and other code, so uh, that will be uh, treated as a function, right? So here I already explained the difference between property and function. So this property like record will be having two things. 
So you can write record.data and record.error because this property will be having two internal property. One is data property and one is error property, right? So this way uh, you can use, this way you can uh, use an add rate wire decorator to uh, use the uh, predefined modules of uh, Salesforce. Then if we go further, so we have another example where uh, you can see I have implemented a class contact controller. And inside this class, a function get context is defined. And this is re receiving account ID as a parameter and it is returning a list of contact, right? Then SOQL is uh, fetching some fields of contact where account ID is equals to ACC ID, right? Now here you can see how we can import that function in LWC. So you need to write at the rate salesforce slash apex slash contact controller dot get contacts. So this contact controller is the name of the class and get context is the function and uh, that we are importing in this get context. So this get context will be adapter ID and this is the module now. So this is a custom function that we defined in Apex class. Then below you can see uh, Salesforce slash Apex. Uh, we are impo importing refresh Apex and uh, through UI record API, we are importing update record. So in previous example, we imported get record in this example, we are importing update record. So this way, this UI record API is a module which have different functionalities. Then here we have record ID public uh, property because we are using add the rate API. Then this add the rate wire. So again, we are passing get records. Then we are passing the ID and the re returned result will be available in this context property, which is further having data and error properties. So this way, you can use add rate wire decorator uh, to work with predefined modules and uh, you can uh, use it for apex class functions as well right so these are three decorators add rate api add rate wire and add rate track yeah.